Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel. I'm a founder of Webion Systems. In this video, we will see how to declare a variable in keyword test of test complete. Now, before we begin, there are two types of variables. One is local variables and another one is global variables. So I will divide this video into two parts. One is for local variables and another one is for global variables. So this video is focused on how to declare a local variable. Okay. So let me create one keyword test and let me give an appropriate name like local var test. Okay. So now when you create a keyword test and when you look at the bottom, you have these three tabs. One is for test tabs, another one is for variables and parameters. Since we are interested in variables, click on the variables tab. And now inside this variable tab or the pan, right click and select this new item. Now your variable is created. Now give an appropriate name. I'm gonna give as a local var. And now you can define the type of variable from this drop down I'm going to select the integer and here test complete will assign a default value either you can change the default value or you can keep as it is I'm going to keep it as it is now go back to test step and now let's print the default value of the variable that we just created so click on this login and Select this log message operation, click on next and click on this button with three dots. And from the mode, I'm going to select variable. And from this value drop down, I'm going to select the variable that I just created. Now, since the variable is local to this local var test, it is going to be inside this drop down that is local var test. And this is the variable that we just created local var. Click on it and click on this button you select a variable okay and finish okay now this operation is going to print the default value of this local variable let's run it and see what we get and here is the default value that's a zero okay let's go back to this keyword test and let's change the default value to 10 okay save it and again go back to test tabs and run it and let's see what we get it should print 10 now okay, it's, it is printing 10 now now in real time you may have an operation which produces some result and you want to store in the variable to perform the further operation you can do that too let me have a small test operation let's do it okay for that I'm going to click on this statement not statement frequently used and run code snippet or let's do a simple calculation 2 plus 2 okay and I want to store the result of this operation inside the variable that I just created okay so to do that first I'm going to click on this statement and here there is an operation called set variable value okay and uh, I'm going to use the local bar click next and what will value I want to store I want to store the value of the previous operation or the result of the previous operation so from here from the mode I'm going to select last operation result okay and finish now the product of this operation is going to be stored inside this local var variable and now when i print this the value will be 4 okay the default value is override by this value by the operation that just happens during the runtime let's run this and see what we get and now the value will be 4 okay value will be 4. If I update this with 2 plus 8, okay, and okay, now value should be 10. Okay, value should 
value is 10. So this is how you declare a local variable and work with the local variable. If you have any doubt or question, please write in the comment section of this video and I will try my best to answer. That's it in this video. Thank you very much and see you in the next video where I will explain how to declare and work with global variables. Thank you.